Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySetStamp.com and today I have a card that I'm going to be showing you actually in two separate videos. Reason being is I was able to edit one of my videos and then for some reason whenever I load them up I can't find them on my computer so kind of just for right now given up and I thought okay I'll just do this in two separate videos because this is a labor intensive card. Um, I've already spent about three hours on it and that includes like searching on the internet, trying to find ideas, and um, designing it on my gypsy, so on and so forth. So let's just get started. I'm going to show you this card. It's not finished and so there'll be two different videos on it, but here's the first part of it right here. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. So this is actually going to be a window card and um, I'm liking the way that this turned out so far. The reason why I left this little see-through window here off, because I really wanted you to see the details on this gorgeous little tool tutu that I made. So my inspiration here was actually this hanger, and the hangers came from Sarah, Live, Love, and Scrap, when she sent me my sweet little box of goodies. And this is from Tim Holtz. And they're so cute. So that was my inspiration. And then my other inspiration is my niece who's turning three. There's the sweetest little picture of her. She loves tutus. So this is going to be actually for her. And so this is a handmade little tutu that I made. So um, let me tell you a little bit about how I made this tutu. First thing is that I used the paper doll dress up cartridge. And this was on page 71. And I cut this little, let's see, where's this little dress at? Um, you know, that's the shoes. Whoops. Sorry, I'm telling you guys the wrong page. Uh, let's see here. Let me find this little dress. I know the dress I cut at 5 inches, but that does not look like, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is the dress that I used, cut at 5 inches on page 65. Reason being is I knew I wasn't going to use this lower portion of it. I just wanted the top part to kind of look like a little tank top that when you see a ballerina and um, her little tutu underneath. So that's why I did that. And let me get started here and show you how I designed this. So what I did was I cut off, you can see this little... Oh, there we go. It's focusing good. You can see this little kind of um, score line here. I cut off that and I cut off these two little tabs here. So I was literally just left with, I wish this would autofocus. Anyway, I was just left with just the tank top and just this line and it was right there. Imagine that being cut off, like right like that. So let me get started and show you how I made this tutu. It's kind of along the lines of, and I and I haven't made any of these tutus myself, but I've seen them made on videos and things like that. So I know that they're super easy to make. Most of the time you make them with elastic and then you stitch the elastic on a sewing machine in the back. But that's not what I am um, doing here. So this is just a piece of twine. I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing how to make this because it's repetitive and it would be too much. But so this is, um, how I started this. So I've just got a piece of baker's twine here and I cut in sheets some tulle and I'm only going to show you two examples of it. So here's two pieces of tulle. What you do, I think this is called a slip knot. When you take it like this and you've got a little opening here, so you just fold it in half and get the opening and then you're going to take it underneath your little baker's twine like this and you're gonna slide it through. So this is why I think it's called a slip knot, but I'm not 100%. And then you pull it taut like that, and you keep pulling it, and that's the first one. So did you guys see that? Hopefully my head wasn't sticking there. Let me try to be, make sure that my head isn't sticking in the way. So again, you fold it exactly in half, get the little opening part here, go underneath here, Get the opening part again, slide your two pieces through like this, and then you pull them, whoops, I just lifted that off. Anyway, so you pull up tight on here. And so you guys get you guys get the point of this, right? So then you just keep going along and you just keep doing it until you're, you slide them together. 
until you make a whole bunch of them and it'll make your own little tutu dress. So that's how I did the dress and then I just trimmed it. I just took it all here with some scissors and cut it exactly where I, I didn't measure it but I just looked at it and put it inside my card and said okay this is where it needs to be and this is the length that it needs to be and so that's how that part was done. This part here, this ribbon, and you can see that I finished off the little tutu over here with a little bit of this seam binding ribbon. And what I did for that was um, Karen from Cards TV Stamps Design Team sent me this really pretty ribbon. It's pink um, seam binding ribbon. And I folded it in half, put some double stick tape in there like that. So I made it halfway. And then I put some double stick tape again and then folded it in half over let me show you here if I can do this. This is a little hard to do when I'm holding all my hands and trying to show you guys this at the same time, but let me see if I can do it. So basically, let's say this tutu was completed, right? So then you've got this folded in half, like this. Then I took this with double stick tape and folded that over the top of this. So it gave it a really finished look on my tutu. So that's what I did. And then I tied a little bow, and you guys can see the little bow here, and then I added a little bit of rhinestone. In the back, I've added double thickness of mounting foam in the back, as well as I did some um, glossy accents to really hold this in place. Now with this, you can see I did double layer, and I'm going to add one more layer on top of it, of this, um, of these rings here. The reason why I did that is because this tool, this tool was so puffy. Normally I'd say you only need two layers, but because the tool was so puffy, I'm going to do three layers. So, and then that'll go on top like that. Isn't that so cute? And then the card does open and it opens like that. So I am going to show you the finished part on all this, but let me give you the measurements just so that you have it. So this banner that goes right here was from the preloaded Christmas cartridge on your Gypsy and that is cut out at 1.6 inches and then the Birthday Bash Cricut cartridge is where this is from, the card base here from Birthday Bash and that is cut out at 5 inches. The circles here are cut out, the, the big circles are cut out at 4.75 inches and the inner circle that I had to do in here to cut this out so it makes the window portion, those are at 3.95 inches. So you'll need to do two. If you're making a card, I think two is fine. If you're doing the tool, I would do like I did, which was three of these. So you do them at 4.75 and you weld it inside with a 3.95 inside of it so that it'll cut out the circle inside. And then you'll also need two more, and that's at 4.75, which is the biggest circle here, one being for this, you can't really see it, but this is clear, and this is just um, off of my Cricut mat. I just use that for the clear part. And then this is also 4.75 in the back, and I did the cute little dots that you see there. That is actually from the with love from the recollections collection on there the polka dotted one so i just wanted to show you this really quick to to kind of get started and now i'm i'm going to finish this off camera and then you'll see it all put together but i just wanted to give you all the specifics because it's a little hard to to do all this and i didn't want to make the video so long so anyway part two will show this all finished but i hope you guys are enjoying it so far thanks for watching guys have a great day Bye bye